Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 16 minus 16. Now 16 here, this is the same thing as 8 times 2. So now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 8 times 2 minus 16. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 8 times 2, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 16. Now 16, this is the same thing as 4 times 4, which is equal to 4 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 8 to the power of 2 minus 4 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 8 and b is equal to 4. So I have a plus b, so 2 to the power of 8 plus 4 times a minus b. So 2 to the power of 8 minus 4. Now let's go ahead and calculate this. Well, first, 2 to the power of 8, what would that be? Well, 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. Notice how it doubles every time. So 2 to the power of 4 this is going to be double of 8, which is 16. 2 to the power of 5 is double of 16, which is 32. 2 to the power of 6, double of 32, which is 64. 2 to the power of 7, double of 64, which is 128. And finally, 2 to the power of 8, which is double of 128, which is 256. So 2 to the power of 8 is 256. So now I have 256 plus 4 times 256 minus 4. Now, 256 plus 4, that's going to be 260. Times 256 minus 4, that's going to be 252. So now I have 260 times 252. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewrite both of these terms. So 260 I'm going to rewrite as 250 plus 10. And 252 I'm going to rewrite as 250 plus 2. So now to multiply these, I'm going to first start by distributing the 250. So now I have 250 times 250 plus 250 times 2. Now I can distribute the 10, so I have 10 times 250 plus 10 times 2. So now this is equal to, well, 25 times 25 is 625, so then I simply add these two zeros, plus 25 times 2, that's going to be 500, plus 250 times 10, that's going to be 2500, and finally plus 10 times 2, that's going to be 20. Now, I simply have to add all these together. Well, 62,500 plus 500, that's going to be 63,000. And 2,500 plus 20, that's going to be 2,520. And now, finally, 63,000 plus 2,520 is 65,520. So, this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. Now, 2 to the power of 20, well, 20 here, this is the same thing as 10 times 2. So now I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 9. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2 I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 9. Now 9 I can rewrite as 3 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2 minus 3 squared. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. 
So in this case, A is equal to 2 to the power of 10, and B is equal to 3. So I would have A plus B, so 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times A minus B, so 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. And then now, let's first simplify 2 to the power of 10. Well, 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2, 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4, and 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. So notice how every time it doubles. So 2 to the power of 4, this would be double of 8, which is 16. 2 to the power of 5, this would be double of 16, which is 32. 2 to the power of 6, double of 32, which is 64. 2 to the power of 7, double of 64, which is 128. 2 to the power of 8, double of 128, which is 256. 2 to the power of 9, double of 256, which is 512. And finally, 2 to the power of 10 is double of 512, which is 1,024. So now I have 1,024 plus 3 times 1,024 minus 3. Now, 1,024 plus 3, that's going to be 1,027. And 1,024 minus 3, that's going to be 1,021. So now I have 1,027 times 1,021. And now, to actually solve this, I'm going to rewrite both of these. So, 1,027, I'm going to rewrite as 1,000 plus 27. And 1,021, I'm going to rewrite as 1,000 plus 21. So now to solve this, I'm going to first start by distributing the 1,000. 1,000 times 1,000, that is going to be 1 million. So I'm going to add plus 1,000 times 21, that's going to be 21,000. Now I have this plus, now I can distribute the 27. 27 times 1,000 is 27,000, plus 27 times 21. Well, if we do this right now, 7 times 1 is 7, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 7 is 14, I carry the 1, and 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 0 plus 5 is 5. So I have 567. So now to simplify this, so I have 1 million plus 21,000 times 27,000 is 48,000. And I have plus 567. And now finally, if I add all these together, I get 1,048,567. So this is my answer.